even now I have days when I can maybe feed myself um, easier than I can on other days or um, type easier than I can on other days. All of these things are done in the wheelchair. I can't drive anymore. So that, that was one of the biggest things for me was not being able to drive. And, you know, my some days my husband will haul all the Tupperware out of the closet and he'll say, I know you're having a bad day, he says, start throwing, because it is just so frustrating not to be able to do something that is so simple. I mean, not, not being able to uh, comb your hair or something like that. Uh, not being able to get dressed by yourself. It's, you, you really have to work your mind uh, into acceptance that this is the way things are. I tend to have a very positive nature, positive attitude by nature. Just, I think I came out smiling, my mom said, and probably talking too. So I, that's just me. But you can't, it, obviously, if and I'm a positive person and I can struggle with that. I cannot imagine people that tend to lean towards maybe not having as much of a positive attitude. And I um, I know that I have to do certain things and leave certain things in place and have certain things in place for me to maintain a positive attitude. I have to do quiet time. I have to know how to check myself before I wreck myself and just really work on who am I in relationship with what are those conversations like? And for those, for instance, um, recently we had to um, leave a church due to my medical condition. And it was incredibly difficult. But I had to stand up and just say, this isn't an option for me to be treated well. This, this, is, a, this is what it is. I am okay with that. And, um, but that can, that can be a real challenge. I can't say that I haven't ever really thought, man, this just isn't worth it sometimes. This is really hard. And honestly, that's why I think uh, I'm such a proponent of counseling and been in counseling the majority of my life because I knew something was there and I was being told otherwise and just really wanted to f navigate what that looks like. And it's been absolutely beneficial to me. Uh, being part of the Periodic Paralysis um, Association has absolutely given me an anchor I would say an absolute anchor. And then the the people, the tribe that we're part of, being part of the PPA and around other people with or without medical conditions absolutely um, helps me with my mental health and helps me with a positive attitude and, and to, to check myself. And then they check themselves with me. Those relationships are very beneficial. Absolutely. It's very important to have some kind of a distraction like a hobby. Um, whenever you go through anything major in life, first of all, I think for anything, but really with this, yes, uh, something that you can do, you know, physically without exhausting yourself. For me, um, I went through a period of baking uh, sweets, believe it or not, for my family, <laughs> and I couldn't even taste them. And I would have to ask, is it all right? So, um, and then where I'm at now, uh, gardening became important to me. And it's been fun because I can see plants grow and enjoy the sunshine and the rain and all of that. So anything that's positive. So if you can find things uh, that you can do that gives you a mental break from the everyday you know, struggles of life anyway, you're always better off. It does help you keep positive. It really does, um, because your mind goes away to something that's a you know fun and entertaining and uh, enjoyable, and so it even relaxes your muscles. Music. My brother was a musician, and we talked about how important it was because I can I could play certain um, melodic tones and my muscles would literally relax. And so the type of music you listen to is very important. And he agreed because, I mean, he was excellent in his field. And so anything that you can do that will help yourself, you're gonna be better off in the long run for everything. I have a blog, um, I'm a writer as well, and it's called findingyourself.blog. I write articles, on everything, like finding your confidence, finding your strength, finding your people. Um, and I wrote one 
called Finding Your Zebra, which tells the story of how I found out I have periodic paralysis. What I've learned throughout this whole journey is you have to stay positive and you have to find a way to laugh and, and make light of some of the tough times. And you might not be able to laugh about it in the moment, but be able to revisit it and say, wow, man, you remember that day? That was crazy. But it's just being able to look back on those moments and just be like, you know what? I made it through. It's not that big of a deal. And then every day just realizing, okay, yeah, my life is hard, but there are other people whose lives are much harder, much harder. And um, just trying to find the happiness in, in every moment. If you would like to know more about periodic paralysis, visit periodicparalysis.org. And if you enjoyed this video and want more, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. It really does help spread the word. You can view other videos about periodic paralysis by clicking the thumbnails to the right. If you have questions, just leave a comment below or reach out to us on social media. We'd love to hear from you.